All right. Hey, everybody. Uh, sorry I'm not there to deliver this lesson in person, uh, but hopefully this video will be the next best thing. So today I'd like you to get out your transformation packets. And we turn that packet to page three, please. It should look like this. And it's got four graphs. And on each graph, there is a shape, a figure that we are going to dilate. So this lesson is going to be about doing, performing dilations on a graph. And for each of these dilations, there's going to be a scale factor. And the scale factor is what we're going to use to multiply uh, by to change the size of these shapes. So when we multiply by a scale factor, that is going to either make the sides grow in length or shrink. And here's a little tip. If the scale factor is greater than one, the numbers are going to grow. So this shape is going to get bigger. So a scale factor of two means the lengths are going to double in size. Down here, a scale factor of three means the side lengths are all going to triple in size. But on the other hand, when we multiply by a scale factor that's less than one, the side lengths are going to shrink. So these two scale factors will make the shapes get smaller. These two scale factors that are greater than one will make the shape get bigger. If I were using a scale factor of one, that would be pretty boring. Multiplying the side lengths by a factor of one would keep them the same, and so that dilation wouldn't do anything. That would be a boring one. So let's get started. Let's do a couple of these together, and then I'll have you try some on your own. So the first thing I want you to do is if we're going to do this dilation with a scale factor of two, let's do this part together. I'll even write this down here. Will you write step one, write the original coordinates. Hopefully you can read that. Write the original coordinates. There is your step one. So I've got these four points here on the graph. It's a parallelogram. And here are the locations for the first four points. So point A from the origin, that's two to the left and down one. So those coordinates are negative two, negative one. From the origin, to get to point B, I have to go two to the left and up three. So that's negative two, positive three. Point C. If I get there from the origin, I have to go one, two, three, four to the right and up one, two, three, four, five. So four to the right is a positive four and up five is a positive five. And to get to point D, I have to go from the origin one, two, three, four to the right and up one. So four, one, those are my coordinates of point D. Okay, next, let's move on to Step two, and in step two, we will multiply the original coordinates by the scale factor. Multiply the original coordinates by the scale factor. And right here is the scale factor. Scale factor is two. If I'm writing this as a coordinate rule, that means any point on the graph, x, y, is going to have the coordinates doubled. We'll multiply the x coordinate by two, and we'll multiply the y coordinate by two. So let's take these original coordinates and multiply them all by two. Negative two times two is negative four. Negative one times two is negative two. I just doubled the coordinates of point A to make the new point A, and it has that little tick mark there. Uh, so we're gonna call that A prime. A prime will have these new coordinates. Let's do point B. Uh, point B, if I double these coordinates, negative two times two is negative four, and three times two is six. If I double the points of C, four times two is eight, five times two is 10. So the coordinates of C were four or five, the coordinates of C prime are eight, 10. And when I double D, four times two is eight, one times two is two. So those are the new coordinates, which means we are now ready for 
step three, which is to graph the new coordinates. So now I can use these coordinates to find the new locations. So A prime is at negative four, negative two. That's four to the left and down two. There is my A prime. B prime is negative four up six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there is the new B or B prime. C is over eight up 10. So right there is the new C, C prime. And D is from the origin, eight to the right, up two. So there's your new D prime. And now I can connect these points with lines to make the new parallelogram that has been dilated, has increased in size. So there's the first one. If we check out the lengths here, the length of AB, the original length was one, two, three, four. And the new length from A prime to B prime should be doubled. It is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just as we predicted, it doubled in length. All right, let's do graph two together. Let's do graph two. So let's do the same thing. Step one, write the original coordinates. So there's point E, F, and G. From the origin to get to E, I have to go one, two, three, four, five, six to the left. That's a negative six is my X coordinate. And then I go up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is my Y coordinate. What are the coordinates of point F? From the origin, I don't have to go right or left. So the X coordinate is zero, but I'm going to go up eight places. So that's a positive eight. And to get to G, I have to go one, two, three, four, five to the right, and down one, two, three, four. So that's five to the right, negative four, because it's going down. All right, so as I said before, this is a scale factor of one half. This is gonna make it shrink. So here's a little pro tip, check it out. Yes, when I'm multiplying these coordinates by one half, Here's a little way to make it easier. We know that multiplying by one half is the same as dividing by two. So we can take all of these coordinates and just divide them by two and we'll be just fine. So let's do that. So negative, let me make sure I did that right. Yes, I did negative six divided by two is negative three. Eight divided by two is four. Zero divided by two is zero. 8 divided by 2 is 4, 5 divided by 2 is 2.5, negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. So there are my new coordinates of E prime, F prime, and G prime. Now step 3, let's graph them. So from the origin, 3 to the left, up 4, 1, 2, 3 to the left, up 1, 2, 3, 4, there's my new E prime zero to the right or left, up four. So that's just up four right there. That's my new F prime. And G prime is two and a half to the right. One, two and a half, and it's down two. So one, two, that puts me right there. There is my G prime. And I can connect them with lines. And there we go. I've got my new triangle and the lengths are half the size of the original. Check out this, length of EF was originally one, two, three, four, five, six units long. The new one should have a length of half that. It should be three, let's check it. One, two, three, three is correct. So there we go. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to try graph three and graph four. Remember up here, you're gonna write the original coordinates of H, I, J, K. You'll multiply them by a scale factor of one third. 
and you get the new coordinates and you'll graph them. And by the way, little pro tip here, multiplying by one third, you guessed it, is the same as dividing by three. So there's a little way to make multiplying by that fraction a little easier. Then come on down here, write the original coordinates, L, M, and N, multiply those coordinates by three, get the new coordinates and graph them. So what I want you to do is go ahead and pause the video, try three and four, come back, check to see how you did. All right, so we're back. So let's see how you did. So we've got the original rectangle, it's pretty big. We're gonna dilate this thing with the scale factor of one third, which means you get these original coordinates, you multiply them all by one third, which makes the coordinates smaller. Uh, let's make the side lengths all smaller. And remember, multiplying by one third is the same as dividing by three. So when I divide all these by three, I get the new coordinates, I graph them. Here's my new rectangle. I do the same uh, down here. I get the original coordinates of LMN, the triangle. I multiply all the coordinates by three, I get the new coordinates, I graph them, and it's definitely bigger. What happens to the side lengths? Let's check. The original length of side JK has a length of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So this scale factor shrinks them all to one-third the original length. What's one-third of 15? Must be five. Let's check. The new JK, J prime to K prime, has a length of one, two, three, four, five. We divided it by three or multiplied by one-third. How about over here? The length of LM has a length of one, two, three. The new L prime to M prime should be triple that, should be nine. Let's verify it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It is. There we go. So there's how you do dilations on a graph. Um, and so you are ready to go. So what I want you to do now is I want you to make sure you get this worksheet. There are two sides. I want you to finish both sides. It's exactly what we just did in that video before. Um, it gives you a shape, gives you a scale factor that you're multiplying the coordinates by, and it gives you a place to write the new coordinates, and then you graph the new shape. The only thing that it doesn't do, it doesn't give you a place to write the original coordinates. So if you try to keep them all straight in your head, it might get confusing. One thing you might want to do is write the original coordinates down. So like point A right there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine to the left, and it's up one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's original coordinates of point A are negative nine, six. When I multiply that by a scale factor of one third, or as we know the pro tip, divide it by three, I'm gonna get negative three comma two will be the new coordinates of A prime. So you might wanna write these numbers down so you don't have to remember it all in your head. So I think that's all I need to say there. Ooh, be careful here. A scale factor of three halves, three, to, three over two is the same as 1.5. That might be a helpful tip for you there. On the back, more of the same. But check out this last one down here. You're going to take the original triangle, multiply by a scale factor of one third, so it's going to shrink, divide the coordinates by three, write the new coordinates here, but then take these new coordinates and dilate it a second time, multiply these coordinates by four to get the new coordinates here. And then you'll, so you're going to draw two new triangles on this graph. So won't that be exciting? So give it a shot. I hope this video helps. Like I said, sorry I wasn't here to actually teach the lesson, but I hope the video worked out. Good luck.